Where do I even start? This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. If somebody was to put the question to you about the, the magnitude of what you think you've launched, how big do you think your product is? Well, it's impossible to tell. We're not one of those important, lasting companies born of the internet. We will have nobody to blame but ourselves, and, but there are no guarantees. You know, take things to the next level or to even surpass their wildest dreams. I knew I wanted to start a business, but the real question was, how? Nope. Nah. It's too complicated. Nope. Too short. No. 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 Hey, that's not bad. Prize. Prize Media. Prize Media Company. I needed it to be something simple and easy to easy to understand and remember, but I didn't want to overthink the name too much because it, the name is defined by your actions you take as a business, not just the name itself. For example, Nike doesn't really mean anything until you put together sports and running shoes. Apple is just a fruit until Steve Jobs presents the first iPhone. Are you getting it? Amazon is just a rainforest until Jeff Bezos delivers your package in two days. Google is 10 to the hundredth power with a bunch of zeros until you absolutely need anything ever. And so Prize? Prize Media Company is just a name until... I guess we'll have to see. The logo is the most intuitive design and impeccable features of a brand. That, something that captivates your audience. That that mesmerizes them, that makes them want to come back, that gives them a feel of... <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I just I just typed the letters. I just typed the letters, and, and I just wrote out the word. That's, that's, that's my logo for now. Now, step three, the brand. This is the subconscious feeling that customers get or clients get when they come to the page. And so I found this little chart that showed the top brands and the different colors that represented and I just f picked one that would go with the idea that I wanted for the brand. Now this part can get a little bit complicated, but I knew for my media agency, the main outreach was going to be through social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, like, so I just needed a basic landing page, nothing fancy, didn't need to do transactions, just something super basic that I could bring potential clients in and then set up a consultation or have a contact or see the services as well as like the brands that we worked with, the people we've worked with, just a basic landing page. Now in terms of picking where to do your website, there's a lot of different website builders out there. Some are free, some are not so free, some have certain features than others, some have SEO, some have e-commerce, just depends on whatever business you're trying to do. For me, I just needed a simple landing page. So I chose Google Sites. It was free, it was simple, it was easy to use. And, and to be honest, as the business grew, I would invest in a better website. But this was just something to get my foot in the door and get started. Since I'm going to be reaching out to brands, I need a way to have trust built in. And the only way to do that is through two things, a custom domain and a custom email that shows a level of professionalism. So the first step would be to pick a domain. Ideally, you do this step like before so you know that your website is actually there, but this is the first time I'm doing this, so you live, you learn. Google has this thing called Google Suites where you can pay like a certain amount of dollars per month to have like a professional at your business email. But I actually found this video by Tony Teaches Tech that works through Gmail aliases that you can have a professional looking email while still having your domain. This is only possible if you buy a domain and at the time of this video it was very straightforward to set up. And that's it. That's how I created a business. That's how I started a business with $18. From start to finish and now comes the hard part. Outreach. Time to outreach, send cold emails, and find clients. I'll hopefully book our first client soon. Yeah, I just wanna be great.